terms of climate change, we've known for quite some time now that we have to do everything differently. We need eventually our cities to be running without any fossil fuels. We need our cities to be running solely on renewable energy. The good thing is, I think we're at the cusp of a huge sea change. Well, Seattle's always been a place that has valued this incredible resource of the outdoors. This project represents a new era for the sports and entertainment industry. Well, in 1962, an architect named Paul Thury designed this building for the World's Fair. In true Seattle style, we've saved the roof and recycled this building. This has been an effort by community through and through. We're going to break ground on this, and when this is done, it will be the best arena anywhere. There's never been a game plan for something like this. I'm proud that this whole project is really about climate and the climate pledge, and not being named after sort of a big corporation. It's actually being named after a vision. The idea that we need to move to a responsible place around climate. Buildings like this were dependent upon gas, natural gas. Well, we're not going to have gas in this building. We're going to be capturing rainwater from our roofs and using it to make the ice. How can you not have a building that's committed to the climate pledge? How can our players not be skating on anything other than rainwater? We got rid of all fossil fuel use. We fully decarbonized. We've gotten rid of natural gas for everything in the arena. The electricity to make the ice is renewable. All the electricity is also being generated by off-site solar farms, so completely powered by renewable energy. Even the Zamboni's electric. <laughs> we need to be not only zero energy, but we need to be zero waste. We believe by 2024, we'll be a no plastics building. So we're not just going on the journey. Our fans are going to go with us. Our corporate partners are going to go with us. The two pillars of our foundation are equity and sustainability. So focusing on taking care of each other, these pillars are related. This new arena is actually going to be the first in the world to be certified zero carbon by the International Living Future Institute, the leading green building organization for advanced green building projects, a whole arena that will be a venue for thousands and thousands of people and be part of something that is historic, a truly fossil fuel free, net zero energy facility. When the building opens, our fans are going to walk in and realize that it's not only one of the most beautiful arenas, Every event, it stands for something powerful. Sustainability and protecting our Earth and its resources.